Lower your ping with What the Fast. What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. Quite often I see a lot of people misusing their teleports, or at the very least not getting the most out of what is honestly a pretty overpowered spell in solo queue. So for you top laners and mid laners, here are my tips and tricks for how to use teleport. Let's get started. There's a bunch of ways you can use teleport, and a bunch of ways that teleport is commonly used that is bad. Let's go over how not to teleport first. Definitely the most common way that is a misuse of teleport is teleporting back to lane. I see so many players teleport back to lane 15 minutes into the game, when in reality it's extremely suboptimal to teleport to the lane past the 8 minute marker. So, before that it's not really that big of a deal, but after 8 minutes it's really really bad to teleport to lane. The only situation where you should be teleporting to lane after 8 minutes is if there's a huge wave piled up. I'm talking two to three waves worth of creeps, or if you have literally zero chance of making a teleport play in the game because your team is already crushing your opponents, which, let's be honest, almost never happens. Even if there is one wave pushed up to the tower, it's not worth it to teleport to the lane. You should honestly just give up the creep wave. Of course, this only applies if it is after eight minutes or so into the game. The reason why teleport is important to save past 8 minutes is because around 8 minutes into the game is when your bot lane should be hitting level 6, so you should look to make a teleport play bottom and go for dragon. Either way, if you do teleport to lane, make sure to teleport to the tower so that you get that shorter cooldown. Now for the ways to actually use teleport, one of my favorite ways is by doing kind of a level 1 cheese strategy. You can take wraiths or wolves or golems or something, just a jungle camp, back and then teleport to lane for a massive exp advantage. Now you can't really do this on all champions, but it's a huge advantage on any champion that can, so it's a great use of teleport. And of course, the best way to teleport is to pull off ganks with it. Both in the jungle and down at the bot lane are going to be your prime locations for ganks, and it's key that you communicate with your team to help set them up. Make sure you tell your team to drop a deep ward so that you can teleport later, and then actively look to make that teleport play. You shouldn't expect your team to magically set up amazing TPs for you without some form of communication, so definitely be sure to communicate to help gank your opponents. And you can also use teleport to split push. Push up and then teleport in when your team starts a fight. Just make sure that you tell your team that you have teleport up and to drop a ward or something if they fight, and you plan on splitting with teleport. Also, be a little bit careful with this. A lot of times, if you're the frontliner for your team, they will need you to be there at the start of the fight and either initiate or reinitiate, and having you teleport in can be really, really bad, as it will make the start of the fight pretty much impossible for your team, and they could really just end up giving a free kill or something like that. Now, if you're facing an opponent who is also taking teleport, you should expect them to teleport to all of the fights that you do, unless they incorrectly use their teleport like mentioned earlier, in which case of course you want to take advantage of. But anyways, just try to be the first one that teleports to the fight. It can often be huge that you make it to the fight even just 1-2 to two seconds before your opponent does, especially if you have crowd control or burst damage, so when fighting and ganking and things like that, make sure that you teleport teleport before your opponent teleports in. In addition, when you are teleporting, make sure you don't teleport directly into the face of your opponents. Instead, you should always try to teleport behind them and get a flank off, otherwise they'll likely be able to just run away. The only situation where you can TP into the face of your opponents is if your allies can get them to overextend and bait them into a fight. Teleport takes three and a half seconds to channel, so it can be enough time to back off if you just do it right in front of their face. And when you do get a flank off, make sure that your team is in position to follow up, or at least wait a little bit in your spot after you teleport for them to catch up to you. Quite often you can pull off an awesome flank, but end up making a really bad play because you rush in one versus three while your team is still trying to run up and catch up to you. And it kind of goes without saying, but make sure you back up to your tower, or at least a bush, before teleporting so your lane opponent cannot cancel your teleport, as a teleport that gets unexpectedly cancelled can really bait in your team to a bad fight. 
And don't forget, there's a lot of weird things you can teleport to. Zack's passive, Jarvan's flag, Thresh's lantern, Rek'Sai's tunnels, things like that are always a possibility for you to teleport to, so keep an eye out and look for your best option. Also, don't be afraid to cancel your teleport if you realize you are teleporting into a bad fight, since you get a significantly lowered cooldown, so it won't be that big of a deal. Anyways, that just about wraps up my tips. My name is Jeremy, and that's it for my video on how to use Teleport. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button so I can tell, and be sure to check me out over on all the socials which you can see on your screen. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future, or check out some of my other videos on your screen as well. And above all else, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.